Hello and welcome to the special segment called MC Pro Select Stock of the Day. In this segment, we bring to you fundamentally strong stock ideas that you can consider in your portfolio. So today's stock of the day is Sinjin. If we talk about the company, then it is the integrated drug discovery and development service provider. In recent years, it forayed into commercial manufacturing. Near-term growth catalysts are expansion of biologics manufacturing. Runs dedicated R&D centers for Amgen, Baxter and BMS. The acquisition of its first biologic site in the US. Acquiring the drug substance manufacturing facility from emerging manufacturing. Operations Baltimore LLC facility is equipped with multiple monoclonal antibody manufacturing lines. Other than the cost of acquisition, the company would need additional investments to make the new facility operational. In total, this would amount to a total outlay of $50 million. The company's balance sheet provides sufficient headroom with net cash of 840 crore, multifold benefits of having a manufacturing footprint in the United States. Addresses an emerging demand for a tweak in business model by having proximity to major pharma innovation hubs. Globally, more than 50% of the R&D spending is done in nine select innovation hubs. Hence, it is rewarding to have a presence in one of these locations. Leading CRDMO players like Vuxi and Farmerin have immensely gained from such arrangement. This includes proximity to the innovation hubs in the United States and Europe, supported by delivery setup in China. This site would also support the growing animal health segment in which a US site is often a key client requirement. It increases the company's bioreactor capacity to 50,000 liters for large molecule discovery, development and manufacturing services. Modification of the facility acquired from Stellis Biopharma getting completed. Now, modifications are expected to be completed by April 2025. This facility triples down the Syngen's biomanufacturing capacity. It was acquired $46 million, followed by $12 million additional investment for modifications. The company's guidance for the new facility is similar to Biologics facilities in which it has already invested in or acquired. The company expects the asset turnover to reach 1x in less than 5 years. In the short run, the company expects a minor dilution of operating margins due to the upfront cost for the facility. Now, company's existing biologics manufacturing site is already approved by the FDA and EMA. Medium term, growth is also supported by China plus one strategy. Now, the management had been indicating that biopharma companies are looking for alternatives to China, prompting it to start the pilot projects. Now, during quarter three financial year 2025, some of the initial pilot projects have converted into long term contracts, providing growth visibility for the medium term. Now, there are the key risks that you should watch out for. Pace of improvement of funding for the US biotech startups. Delay in switch of business opportunities from China to India. Delay in US Biotech Act. With that, it's a wrap for more such updates. Keep watching moneycontrol.com and please like, share and subscribe to Money Control's YouTube channel.